it's Month 007 here and today I wanted to introduce you to a new game, Ars Akemia. It was published in 2014 by Manifest Destiny and the designer is Kuro. So this brand new game just came out this year for the Tokyo Game Market and it'll be going to Essen pretty soon so look out for it. So I wanted to show you what's inside the box and take a quick look at this game. I love the artwork on the box. Okay, so this game is for three to four players. It takes just under two hours to play, ages 10 and up. Okay, and let's have a look. So this version I got from the Tokyo Game Market and it has the English and Japanese rules. Wow, look at this. Look how many bits you get in there. Okay, so we have red, green, yellow and black. We also have some cubes and a wooden dice. We have some cards. And some awesome boards. Let's have a look at this. Okay, so these look like they are player boards. There's four of those. Okay, and they're quite thick. Very, very nice quality. And very easy to see. I like the graphic design. And we also have... A nice big game board. Look at that. Look how beautiful that is. Each of these bags, you should have 20 workers. Okay. One cube of the same color. You also have 20 resource cubes. Four of each colour, so there are five colours in there. Ooh, I like the design. Okay, very, very colourful art on the cards. They have English and Japanese on them. So it's bilingual, this version. Oh, very cool. I love the beautiful art. So maybe these are the orders that you're trying to fulfill. Maybe these are the um, items you need for this card. Hermes Wheel and oh, Prometheus Fire, Philosopher's Stone. So I wanted to see if my sleeves would fit. And I have the 41 by 63 millimeter sleeves by Ultra Pro and Fantasy Flight. So let's have a look. Okay, it looks like, I don't know if you can see there, the height is a good height, but the width is a bit wider than those sleeves. So I would probably recommend if you're going to sleeve these to use the 45 millimeter by 68 millimeter sleeves, but it'll be a bit longer. So if you want to protect your cards, you can sleeve them with those sleeves. So this game is set in a land where alchemy is part of the daily life. And players work in an alchemy factory and they take orders from customers and fulfill the orders to produce a good. And then they transmute the resources into a good. If the customers wanted clean water, they would uh, get all these resources and transmute it into clean water. So the game is played in four rounds and each round represents a year and players will take turns placing their workers onto the board to do certain actions. And in order to place some workers in a section you have to actually exceed the number of workers already there in your placement. This looks like a fantastic worker placement game. Um, I've heard great things about this designer 
and he always does an amazing job with his games. The designer has put a lot of work and effort into making this beautiful game. I'm really excited about this game. I've heard a lot of great things about it, and I can't wait to get this out to the table. So if you want to support this wonderful designer, please go check out the Essen booth. This will be sold at the Japan brand Minimal Games booth. So definitely go check it out. It'll probably get sold out really quickly, so... So make sure you go and get a copy. If you want to find out more about Japanese games, please subscribe to my videos. And please comment below if you want to see more games coming out from Japan. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye!